Do you have videos to share? We think that YouTube is a good place to do it. Don't think that putting them up on YouTube means that the whole world can see them. You can make it private and we will show you how. I want you to consider our imaginary friend Danny and his daughter just graduated and he has this cute little video, our imaginary friend Danny's imaginary daughter's graduation. He got this video and it's on his computer. So I just went to a folder on his computer and here's a video of his daughter and her friends celebrating after graduation. Now, most of her family didn't get to go, so he wants to share this video with them. I'm going to show you how he uploads it to YouTube, even though he has never, ever done this before. Step one, you open a browser and go to youtube.com. Step two, you sign in with your Google account. There's nothing special. It's not a specific YouTube account. It's just your Google account. So you click sign in and I'm signing in as our imaginary friend, Danny Demo. And I need to know his password. I am now signed in to YouTube with Danny's account. To upload a video from your computer, you click create and upload video. Now, the very first time you do this, there is one extra step. You need to identify the channel. It assumes that you want it just called your username, Danny Demo, but you don't have to. You can call it Danny's family. So his channel will be known now as youtube.com at Danny Demo family. And you click create channel. Now we go back to say we want to upload a video. Create and upload and you have to find the file. Select files so you need to know what, what folder it's in and there is the video of his daughter at graduation. And it is uploading it. Now depending on how long your video is, this takes a little while. You know, we can say Angela's graduation party. You can write a description if you want. You can add a thumbnail if you want. You can add it to playlists. You do have to specify that no, it's not made for kids. And then you click next. So there's all sorts of settings here. We're not gonna add anything special. We just want this video available to share. Here is the privacy settings. You can make it public. If this is a video that you want anybody in the world to be able to just happen upon and see, public is the way to go. Unlisted means just that. Not anybody in the world can happen upon it, but you can give the link. Anybody with the link can watch it. Private means you have to specify each individual that is allowed to see it and they must be logged in with their Google account. We're going to make this unlisted and save. So here is the link. Anybody with this link, and I'll click on just copy, anybody with this link will be able to view this video. So I'm going to have Danny send that link to me so you can see how it works. I just go to an email. Here's the link to the grad party video and I send that. So now I'm going to get back logged in as me. Now I could just go to Danny's YouTube channel, right? You go youtube.com slash and at, and then what did we end up with? Danny demo family. All right. So I am now at his channel, but I see no videos. Why is that? That's because we made it unlisted. You can't just go to his channel and see it. But if I go to my email, open the email and click the link, I will be able to see it. So this is the way that you can upload a video and give all your friends and family the ability to see it, but it's, but it's private as far as the world is concerned. Now you can also see it using a mobile device. 
So here's my phone and I'm on my email. I can open up Danny's message and tap on the link. And now I am seeing that video on my phone. It works so well. Nothing works better than YouTube for sharing videos.